What's going on guys? My name is Michael Leskin. Welcome back to the Afterglow of Grisaya. Last time we saw how lazy Asago could be and now apparently we're getting a backstory from her. I don't know why, but we are. So we'll jump into Asako and JB, which I'm pretty sure is kind of like the same story, the same backstory that we got from JB's perspective back in the Labyrinth of Grisaya. I'm pretty sure it's just going to be Asako's perspective. I don't know, I could be wrong, so let's see if I am wrong or not. But here we go. We're in uh, backstory format, or at least in the uh, format where... I, I don't know what you can call this, actually. I don't know what you can call this, actually. すべて腕力で解決するって方法で味を占めちまうと、なんだこんな簡単なことだったのかってよ。他の解決方法が面倒になってな、なんでも暴力で型をつけるようになった。そんな私の横暴に施設の管理側も対処しきれなくなってな。
養護施設を退所するまで施設のボスとして君臨したって話だそれ以来 JB には頭が上がらないってわけだそういう話じゃねえよいいかユージ喧嘩ってやつは小規模なうちは腕力のあるやつが勝つだがある一定の線を超えちまうと金やら権力を持ってるやつが勝つ喧嘩がでかくなって裁判にでもなりゃ腕力だけのやつはどうしたって金と権力のあるやつには負ける世の中ってのはとことんクソだなけどよ腕力だけの私でも JB がいりゃ大抵の問題は解決する私はもう二度と惨めな負けを経験したくねえからあいつの言う通りにしてやってるだけだなるほどねあっついちょっとなんで冷房使わないのよ Wait why is she here? Isn't this like the same day when like Uh, man, like in the last episode, she was on the phone with JB. Asako and JB were talking on the phone about the paperwork and everything. Isn't this like right after? Or maybe this is a different day? I'm not exactly sure. Yeah, it is the same day. Why is she here now? 報告書なら14時までに出すって言ったろ何しに来たんだよだって私が見てなかったらあなた絶対有事に書かせるでしょ監視よあ、oh, shit sorry about that つった私を信用しちゃどうなんだ Man, I hate it when I skip I feel like an awful human being when I do it だったらさっさと書きなさいわかんないところがあったら教えてあげるからちガキの宿題かよガキの方が物分かりいいわよいいから書くへいへいあーあーついエアコン入れるわよ窓開けてりゃ十分風入ってくんだろうが贅沢すんなこれだから赤坂組はここの電気代を払ってるのはその赤坂よ。はあ、涼しい。おっぱいんとこパタパタすんな。難しい年頃の男の目の前だぞ。But what is that age? How old are we? あ、そうだユージ。アイス買ってきたけど食べる。Dodging my questions, God damn it. く。あなたは報告書が書き終わってから。なんだよサーカスのクマじゃねえぞ食い物で釣ろうとすんな早く書かないとあなたの分も食べちゃうわよ汚ねえなん？どうしたのユージいやなんか JB を見る目がちょっと変わったっていうかえ何よさっき朝子から昔の話を聞いたからえー、<咳>どんな話いやだ変な話聞かされてないでしょうね Oh nothing weird at all ほら朝子が泣いた時の話ああウサギの話ウサギばお前余計なことんあなた自分で有事に話したんじゃないのああそれ気になってたんだウサギの話って何聞かなくていいんだよんな話私と朝子のいた養護施設にね児童の上層教育の一環としてウサギ小屋があったのよ朝子はほら悪いことばっかりしてたから罰当番でよくウサギの世話をさせられてたんだけど何度もウサギの世話をしているうちに情が映ったみたいでそのウサギが死んじゃった時それはもうワンワンと大泣きしたのよねうっせえな昔の話だろうがそれにあれは死んだんじゃなくて殺されたんだ
殺されたほら麻子って施設では憎まれっ子だったから麻子に喧嘩で任された悪ガキがその腹いせにってウサギの飲み水に殺素剤を混ぜたのよ Now that's fucked. あの野郎今思い出しても腹が立つぜ犯人は分かったんだ殺素剤が保管されてる倉庫に入れる人間は限られてたしねちょっと調べたらすぐに分かったわその後大変だったのよ犯人が誰か分かった時の朝子ってばそいつも同じ目に合わせてやるってもう大騒ぎ一応施設の管理側にも犯人が誰か報告はしたんだけど当の犯人の子が「俺は知らないやってない」の繰り返しでましてや原告が悪道の朝子となると。さたやみにせざるを得なくて麻子は法で裁けないなら私があの野郎をぶっ殺すって聞かないし養護施設内で殺人なんて起きたらさすがに私でもかばいきれないし必死で止めたわよよく麻子が我慢したなそいつも JB のおかげで命拾いしたな去年死んだけどねオッケーえ What? 私が我慢なんてすると思うかその時 JB が20年後に必ずあいつを殺させてあげるって言ったから我慢したんだ。あ、uh, あ、What? 20年私たちが施設を出た後も私はずっとその男の監視を続けたんだけどまあ、ウサギを殺しておいて平気で嘘つくような子でしょまともな就職なんてしなかったのよそういう子って放っておいても勝手に悪の道に進むでしょ10年後にはちょっとした麻薬組織の構成員になってたわそれからさらに10年経って彼は立派な国家の敵に成長してくれたあ、oh, so it was like perfect そんで国からの依頼で私が奴の頭を吹き飛ばした。長かったぜ。この20年はよ。なんか俺、やっぱ JB を見る目少し変わったかも。I think it was kind of just coincidental that she was able to do like a clean kill. Like, she was able to get some sort of revenge. JB kept her side of the deal. And I guess it was just a job, so. 怖くなったでも。これが私たちの仕事なのサージに入るの考え直す ?No いや JB のそういうとこちょっと俺の姉に似てるなって思っただけだなユージこれで分かったろ直接引き金を引かねえってだけで JB だって十分薄汚ねえ仕事してんだあんまこの女におかしな幻想を抱くんじゃねえぞ何よそれ失礼しちゃうわねいや俺だって JB をただのちょろいもっさり金髪だとは思ってないよあなたそれは本当に失礼よ私ちょろくないから分かってるよジュリアン Damn dude using that first name <笑>ちょろちょろじゃねえか名前呼ばれただけで赤くなんな She doesn't have to tell me that. I already know. In this cozy environment, I sometimes forget that the work these two do prevents them from leading normal lives. And now that applies to me too. I don't have the right to live a normal, peaceful life anymore. That's why, at the very least, I want to do or I want to work hard in the shadows to protect the people who do live normal, peaceful lives without them ever noticing. But it's not like I believe that doing that will earn me forgiveness for anything from anyone. In our world, there's an absolute ruler whose authority everyone recognizes. If you want to take the throne for yourself, brute force is necessary. You can only take the throne by force. If you're going to boast about your sharp skills or your cunning tactics in battle, no one will recognize your rule. 
In fact, behaving so foolishly will only get you branded a coward. If you're going to challenge for the throne, a straightforward battle plan can be both proof of your worthiness and the most effective means of achieving your goal. On this particular day, Asuko returns home in an extremely bad mood, having completed her first job in a while. I hear that the job itself went just fine. When I ask her why she's in such a bad mood in spite of this, she tells me that she experienced a completely unrelated defeat on her way home. She'd gotten on her beloved bike in a perfectly good mood after finishing work, humming a song as she went. But she then got passed from, from behind by another motorcycle. You think you're hot shit, okay let's play a little, appears to be what she was thinking as she went after them full throttle. However, she couldn't narrow the distance between them. In fact, they kept getting further and further apart as they turned each corner. That only made Asuko feel ashamed of her conceit a few wait, of her yeah, of her conceit a few moments earlier. She returned home burdened with a sadness she couldn't quite define. So she's just started yelling. All right. Apparently, she was very frustrated to be defeated like that. After tossing off her helmet and jacket, she starts rolling around on the floor. それにね、後ろからスコーンと抜かれて相当頭にきたみたい。もう、そんなことでへそ曲げてるの?朝子、あんた年を考えなさいよ。子供じゃあるまいし。うるせえ。パワーでも手でもね。タイヤで負けたん
今の揺れは俺にくれよバカおめえ道具に文句つけてりゃキリがねえんだよ言ったろタイヤだカチカチのツーリングラジアルからフレッシュなスポーツラジアルに履き替えりゃ十分だよしちょっと甲府行ってくるついでにチェーンとブレーキも交換だこの草壁麻子同じ相手に二度は負けんあちょっと麻子あなた報告書は It shall be left unfinished, I suppose. なもん帰ってからでいいだろバイクね。確かに私にはわからないけど、そんなに向きになるものそれを知るためには自分で乗ってみるしかないんじゃないかな。まあね。あなたぐらいの年なら、そういうものに興味を持つのはわからないでもないけど。ああ。そういえばサーズの別の班だけど「夢玉」って書いてある青いオートバイに乗ってる女の子がいたわねまさか C 型じゃないだろうな C 型って言われても私には全部同じに見えるしあのサージエビその子ってもしかして今日の作戦にも参加してたどうかしら班が違えば管理官も別だから私にはわからないけどいてもおかしくはないかしらねえジェビーできればその話あさこには内緒にしておいてダンデュールえなんであさこがちぎられた相手って多分その子だあ,あまあ確かにバレたら面倒なことになりそうね At any rate, I think it's the law's fault for allowing someone who yells about winning or losing on the road to have a driver's license. Getting a hold of such credentials is very difficult for someone like me. Even if my birthplace and roots were clearer, making it easier for me to get qualified, it's not that simple when your past's as troublesome as mine. I need to go abroad to get all my creden credentials. <laughs> Whether it's my driver's license or the license I need to do work for SIRS domestically. Asako laughed at me for this. She said I was like an import car that still had left hand drive. Even though these same foreign models are sold officially within Japan, if you want a car with left hand drive, you have to go through the annoying procedure of registering the vehicle before importing it. Becoming a SIRS agent is easy enough, but staying in the job is another story. This is a story I heard from my forerunner who fought throughout the chaos of the Showa era before SIRS had even been formed. It's a story I was told after overcoming many trials and receiving a license to work for SIRS in Japan. This is an interesting area. Is this the story? Ah,、uh, whatever. One day I found myself going to a sports equipment workshop in. Kita go, I don't even know, called M Morishima Racket to pick up my rifle, which had been taken in for routine inspection. I guess this is Yuji here. Inside the work, yeah, yeah, like he's, he's gonna get the story here, I guess. I don't know. Inside the workshop, which was redolent of the Showa era, a man was cutting out circular gr grommets at his workbench. He looked like he was in his 50s and he was wearing overalls covered in oil. I hesitated to call out to the man while he was focusing on his work and decided to wait until he had a chance to take a break. He finally turned off the machine, took, out a, cigarette, or took a cigarette out of his pocket, put it to his lips, and lit it with, his, or with a gas lighter. Wow. Yamamoto. What an interesting looking man. <laughs> an angry man. なんだ何の用だ Very angry. 今日おもちゃ取りに来るって連絡入ってるはずだけどおもちゃだあっつうことはお前そのドジで日の丸の飼い犬か He shuts his mouth almost biting through the cigarette filter and looks me up and down Having expelled the smoke through his nose with a puff he looks me straight in the eye like I was nothing more than an insignificant little bug Thanks, dude. 
Hearing that someone didn't like my face was pretty common. I was told that sort of thing a lot during my time in Oslo's school in the army. The army? Wait a minute. So he's already gone there. I'm very confused of when all this is taking place. I'm just getting more and more confused. And I always retorted, we're not working with our faces. Just in my mind, of course. If your comrades took a fancy to you, your ass would be in danger. If your commanding officer took a fancy to you, you'd end up living longer, whether you wanted to or not. Nothing good could come of having a nice face. At first glance, it just looked like any old workshop. In reality, though, it was an arms shop for Cirs agents. Normally, Cirs agents receive new, fresh out of the box firearms, long range and short range, from the company. And they're expected to send them in for routine inspection twice a year to the specified workshops. Morishima Racket was one of those. Although it was originally a factory that manufactured FRP rackets for tennis, etc., as its name would suggest, as the business expanded, began to as the business expanded, it began to accept orders for sporting rifles too. I've heard it was that which prompted Sirs to start using the factory. After walking through a tunnel hidden behind the portable office in the workshop, we went down into a brick-built basement that looked as if it could have been constructed during the war. It smelt of working men's sweat. Wow. Interesting looking area. When the man turned an old switch on the wall that looked to be made of bakelite, the ceiling lamps illuminated the room, and the giant ventilation fan began spinning. Like he was using the ventilation fan as an excuse, the man took a new cigarette out of his po or out from his pocket and began smoking it again. You got it, Haas. I reached out for the familiar gun case and quickly changed the number on the lock to 9029 so that I could check the contents. At first glance, it didn't appear that anything was different. The scratches from overuse on the gun stock were still there. However, when I picked it up and tested the bolt, it felt obviously different. Any at warping or wear, any creakiness or clattering of joints, it had all been fixed. And despite this, it still fit perfectly on my shoulder. I could feel the necessary amount of weight in the necessary places. In fact, it was even better than it was before. I jammed a PP dummy cartridge in the chamber and pulled the trigger. The moment the gun went off, the little bit of awkwardness I'd felt disappeared. The feeling of the trigger swaying to the right and left was also gone. If it's raining out in the field, my rifle obviously gets covered in mud, and if I need to draw my handgun quickly, it gets thrown to the ground. And if I started acting up during a job, and I had to exchange parts, at, or if it started acting up during a job, and I had to exchange parts out in the field, it would be a problem for me if those parts were as delicate as those of a race gun. この that's terrifying, in my opinion. Scope 
スナイパー同士で打ち合ったこともあるなあるねこりゃ相当着物座ったやつが受け取りに来ると思ってりゃまさかお前みたいな鍵が来るとはな Saying this, the man took out another cigarette and lit it. Jesus Christ, he's really going through these cigarettes. Tabaco. Ah? Sui sugi janai. Urusi! Ora tabaco ga serva, so de shiawa zenunda. Ure mashika. Oh, no, I am not. Sivan no shiawa sega nana no ka hakiri to akat ternoa. That's cani ure mashi. Na gaki. Nanda eo sa. Azako a. 元気でやってんのか知り合いあさこが拾って育ててるガキってのはお前だろなんでそう思うの銃を構えた瞬間に顔が変わる姿勢の組み立て方呼吸の仕方気持ちの切り替え方わーわー全部俺が教えた通りだわーわーわーわーわーわーわーわーわーわーわーわーわーわーわーわーわーわーわーわーわーわーわーわーわーわーわー So, this man, this man is Asako's master. I'd noticed it every time the man brought his cigarette to his mouth, his trigger finger was missing. I suppose that's what he meant by having died at. That's. Yeah, I suppose that's what he had meant by having died as a sniper. I'd like to continue this chat with Yamamoto, who I'm now finding out is Asako's master, or ex master, I don't really know. But we're out of time. And plus, I feel like my commentary in this uh, in this recording was very bad because I kept messing up. And I just, I guess, in my opinion, I don't sound like I'm really into it. So I'm sorry for the uh, for the lack of whatever from me. And hopefully next time, I deliver a little bit better but anyways thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed at all please leave a like subscribe if you'd like to see more grisaya content such as this and i guess i'll see you guys next time where i hope everything is better and i feel like not next time but the time after that maybe we'll be done i don't know i didn't really actually do any cross checking except maybe once but that was a while ago so i have no idea how close we are it could be maybe two episodes maybe three I'll have to take a look again just in case, but uh, regardless. See you guys next time.